Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 3rd, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had a kind of an interesting day. We ended up with several attempts to break through those resistance levels, and those bears had the energy or showed the energy to defend those price resistance levels. But this morning, as a matter of fact, almost immediately after the market closed yesterday, it would appear that the institutions have set a bear trap. And let's take a look at that. Let's grab ourselves something to drink. Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. You know, yesterday we left behind some concerning patterns. We left behind a little bit of dark cloud cover patterns as we continued to bang against this resistance level, but the bears continued to push it back down. And then we saw selling right into the close. However, almost immediately after, after the closing bell rang, um, institutions began to pump, pump up the futures. So essentially trapping anyone short in the market here this morning. Now it looks like at the moment Dow futures are expected to open up more than 200 points higher, completely reversing that overnight, um, well, yesterday's candle in an over, overnight uh, a rush to squeeze those short traders out and potentially break that resistance here to the upside in the market. Um, we've had mortgage applications come in this morning and it's had no effect. The mortgage applications this morning show that the housing market is stalling because mortgage applications have stalled dramatically as um, bond rates um, are tenaciously, longer term bond rates are tenaciously holding up. But it seems or it appears that we're going to add that to the things that we're going to ignore, we're not going to care about that. We're going to pump up this market. Now, we want to be really, really careful this morning because it is possible this could also be another trap or a trap where we gap the market, pump it up, and then immediately find sellers to push it back down. So be really careful here this morning. Kind of interesting patterns, interesting things going on in the market. Those um, bond um, yields continue to hold in there tenaciously. And um, we're going to be facing employment numbers today. You know, it, it's kind of amazing to me. We're setting new record highs or attempting to set new record highs. We're continuing to try to display that there is absolutely nothing wrong with our economy. While we have 21 million unemployed Americans and 30 million Americans collecting unemployment benefits, that doesn't matter anymore. And maybe bond rates don't matter anymore as long as the federal government continues to flood the economy with newly printed money. Eventually, guys, this cannot end well if we continue um, in this process, just trying to forget and ignore and stick our hands in the sand of all of the problems that we have out there in the economy. It is wonderful with the new, um, with all the vaccines and things that we should start seeing that recovery occur. But I gotta tell you, um, it's kind of interesting how we have pumped this market up, completely ignoring the conditions that we have at the current point. How this will end, I don't know, but I suspect as we continue, as one day we're going to wake up and this debt's going to be a real problem for us. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look um, at our technicals here in the chart. Now, once again, I keep continue to mention that the, the Dow um, did a really good job defending um, these support levels and holding in here nicely and we continue in this consolidating mode now i think everyone would probably agree this has been a rather challenging market because we're doing so much chopping around and seesawing back and forth it's hard to get much of anything going um, with um, 
that happening, although there were sectors out there like auto sectors that did tremendously well and some of those defensive sector stocks did really, really well um, yesterday. So watch that closely this morning. It's going to be an interesting morning to see how this actually plays out. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, we had a, a SPY dark cloud cover coming into play and that SPY is still technically in a short-term downtrend. Although we're doing everything we can to try and push or manipulate this up uh, this morning, notice that we're, we closed here and now we're gapping up pretty high. That possibility that they could fire off that short squeeze this morning, everyone trapped short being forced to buy um, potentially this morning to cover those short positions could lift us above that downtrend. And I think that may be the attempt going on here today. However, as we wait for these news, these data points, ADP number and things like that, we've already seen a pretty bearish um, mortgage application number. Perhaps um, it could be that double-edged sword where we pop up here this morning and end up finding sellers and push it back down. So watch that carefully. Boy, it's, it's a tough, it is a tough market right now to know what's going on. There seems to be so much manipulation in this market. Um, we're gonna have to be pretty darn careful. So watch that price action. I can't tell you, I'd love to say, hey, I think the bulls are just gonna win the day here. But I gotta be honest, with the uncertainty that I'm seeing in some of these charts, I'm not really sure that is the case. Now we also wanna recognize that although we have that downtrend in play, we also have a price resistance level in here that we've yet to break. So we've got price resistance there, price resistance, of course, of those highs that we need to break. So we've kind of created a, um, a level right in here that is creating some problems for the overall market right in here that resistance level that we're going to want to watch pretty closely perhaps we can push on through maybe rates don't matter maybe unemployment doesn't matter anymore um, but that being said let's watch those resistance levels just in case it does let's take a look at the queues now the qqq left behind probably the worst of the patterns yesterday noticing that we put in a bearish engulfing pattern and although we're trying to gap the market a little bit this morning we're still not seeing um, a, a massive uh, change overnight in that NASDAQ market. And if we take a look at our trend, we clearly broke that trend. And we are currently, um, yesterday's uh, selling pushed us back down below its 50-day moving average. That's a problem for us. This is a potential failure um, setting up in that chart. We need to see those bulls really step up and push us back through that level. Otherwise, we could actually see those bears come in and say, look, we got a problem here in the NASDAQ and they start pushing this back down. Um, so we'll want to watch that closely. A failure here at the 50 day moving average would be a problem. Also notice that we're starting to see those shorter term averages slide south. So we're seeing uh, this is a 34 EMA. It's starting to pull back our eight exponential moving average, pulling back and getting ready to cross down through the 50. And that 20 day moving average starting to roll over as well. So we're creating a bit of a resistance zone right up in here above that 50 day moving average that we'll want to watch pretty closely. We also have um, this potential. If you look closely here, we have the potential of a head and shoulders pattern being formed on the NASDAQ. Now, I don't want to say that that is the case, that that's exactly what's going to occur, but we do want to recognize the fact that that could be in there, that being a potentially bearish pattern. And we also have that inconvenient problem that we broke our trend and that we have price resistance levels in this chart that we still have to get through. So we hold the price resistance level in here at the close of yesterday. We still have price resistance levels above that we need to attack to be able to break back through. And we're setting up a, a rather difficult level right in here in that NASDAQ. I'm not saying they can't push through. Institutions have shown that willingness. They'll just buy up everything to to push us through those levels 
but we're going to want to stay um, focused on that just in case this gap up open could be just that trap where we we pop and drop um, this morning so just stay on your toes then let's take a look at our IWM now IWM also left behind a bearish pattern and as you can see not technically a bearish engulfing because we hadn't uh, crossed up above that high point right there but certainly a bearish pattern and that bearish pattern continues to show us that possible failure downtrend and we continue to show that resistance right across this area trying to break through now this morning we're getting that bull rush trying to um, convince everybody that everything is pretty good but we'll want to watch that pretty closely and really stay on our toes this morning um, carefully watching that that's going to be an interesting situation here today how that actually plays out and i can't tell you i wish i could say you know i'm expecting um, i'm expecting that bear trap to be tripped and it may be tripped this morning but at the same time we could see this gap up open turn into a pop and drop so just at those resistance levels so just watch that close let's take a look at our vix see if we can gain any information from our vix well doggone it we still have that inconvenient problem here of the vix not really pulling back um, here we are pushing out and trying to trying to attempt a breakout in the Dow and maybe try and surge out toward those uh, new records in the market but our doggone VIX isn't pulling back we're still holding in this little upside trend here in the VIX and we're not getting that diminishment just yet of fear in the market now that being said with the morning pump that we're seeing right now i suspect we're going to see that um, vix drop down below this level in here um, at the open the question is going to be will it hold down below that area can we continue to push this on down and if we're going to hit some new market highs we need to be seeing this vix dropping on through here one of the things that's made this really challenging market particularly for option traders if you guys have noticed every day the market makers spread out the bid ask in those options and those options remain very elevated in prices because of that high implied volatility closing here above 24 handles on the day so there is still some concern here that we're going to want to pay attention to then if we look at our t2122 T2122 gives us a little bit of a mixed bag today in the sense that here we go in that wild volatility where we're ripping to the upside and then we reverse and rip to the downside. So rip up, whip back and forth, rip down, rip back up, rip back down. And now this morning, I suspect with this gap up open, we're going to have T2122 right back up here. So we're whipping back and forth pretty dramatically in this market, making the price action very, very challenging. And if I were to guess, there's a lot of folks in the market experiencing, um, if they're trading a lot, they're experiencing their accounts being chopped to pieces right now. Um, be very, very careful here, guys. This might be one of those times when it's it, it makes sense to pull back on your trading just a little bit. Let this volatility work itself out. Let the institutions play these games with somebody else's money. Let's watch that close. Um, chop creates an awful lot of income for those institutional traders because they push it one way and and strip out stops on one side and then they push it the other way and strip out stops on the other side and um, creates an awful lot of um, uh, pain for those retail traders and really good money for those institutions so watch that carefully don't get caught in that if that is the case let's also take a look at our t2101 T2101, I got to tell you, as, as much as we continue to try and pump and pump and pump this market, I don't see a whole lot of encouragement here in the T2101 that continues to show that decline. Market breadth is not doing well here while we continue to try to pump the market. So there are clues here of trouble. 
I don't want to say the sky is falling because I don't think that is the case. We just printed, we're going to print $1.9 trillion to try and prevent that sky from falling. But I got to tell you, there's clues out here that should give everyone just a little bit of pause and cause you just a little bit of heartburn with the choppiness and um, the wild volatility that we've been seeing here lately in price action. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a rather busy day today with some interesting reports that could move us around. We're gonna start moving the rest of this week into a high focus into jobs. So we already got those mortgage applications this morning and they're showing that the housing or mortgage applications have stalled. Um, and I, I suspect that's largely due to the rising rates and not only that but the extremely high cost of housing housing has just exploded in prices and um, I think we're and as well as lumber prices and everything else I think we're going to see a um, substantial slowdown in that housing um, industry so we're going to look also here at those ADP reports this morning private payrolls we'll see if those came up a little bit we we'll want to watch that closely here at 8 15 eastern we've got the ism services number not likely to move the market around much and then we have that petroleum status number which certainly we want to pay attention to um, last last week we saw a build in supplies and it didn't uh, you know we got a build in supplies and energy stocks just continued to surge higher in fact they seem to speed up when um, um, the build came in um, if that continues today watch that closely i I can't tell you um, if we see another build in supplies, if those oil um, stocks can continue to um, hold this rapid rise that we're going or we're having right now. Keep in mind, we've got some Fed speakers here today that we'll want to pay attention to. It's unlikely we learn anything new, but we also have that Fed beige book here at 2 p.m. And I think that'll probably largely be ignored. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar steps up just a little bit today with just a few more reports, about 58 companies reporting. If you guys want to get the full list of potential notables, whoops, um, the potential notables, please click that link right underneath the title of the video and that will take you back to the morning blog where you can get that list of notables. We had quite a, uh, a round of um, retail earnings yesterday and we're going to start that off again today with um, AEO. Kind of, whoops, AEO. Keep an eye on AEO that will re be reporting today. This has been in a unbelievably strong upside trend here. Um, a lot of these stores reporting that it's the stimulus that have made made the difference, uh, pushing that money out and getting folks to um, buy up uh, in those retails. However, at the same time, Target showed a, a massive or um, increase in sales, but my goodness, did they get punished yesterday after their earnings report. So um, I, I wonder sometimes if maybe we may have seen some of the high prices in these charts and we get these earnings reports and we really can't support these lofty numbers. I don't know, it's interesting, kind of keep an eye on it. We're also going to see Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Tree reporting. Uh, looks like they are slipping lower here this morning. Um, uh, we've seen Dollar General really being pulled back. Costco, some of the big retailers really being hammered down here recently. So keep an eye on those. Um, MRVL will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on Marvel. OKTA is on that list. Um, it had a pretty bearish day yesterday, uh, putting in that lower high. Um, it'll be important to see how that reports this morning. Notice that we're trying to hold right off of that little rising support in there. It'll be interesting to see how it comes out of that earnings report today. Um, we will also have TCOM reporting today. This has been in a nice bullish move. Uh, Watch that one closely this morning, and we're even going to hear from Wendy's. Wendy's this morning, and that, um, ooh. Wendy's pulling back pretty substantially here following this downtrend uh, to the downside. So uh, 
Watch that carefully as these numbers roll out this morning. And if you want the full list, again, click that blog link and go back and catch that full list. How about we take a look at some stock setting up? And I've got to hurry this morning, guys, because I'm running out of time. Uh, but before we do that, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon. And if you feel the video was worthy, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. I promise you I will get back. We've had an open house the last couple of days in um, Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. I haven't had the time to answer those comments, but I will be back on that today thank you so much for folks who do that also guys if you want to support the channel and help um, um, help out the channel you can click the link if you go below the title of the video there's a link there where you can buy me a coffee and the buy me a coffee helps me to uh, well supports the channel helps me buy that new equipment to really improve um, things for the channel if you guys want to support the channel that way um, that would be awesome and I want to thank everyone who has you guys are truly truly awesome thank you very much for those who are supporting the channel through that buy me a coffee link let's take a look at a few of these stocks now you guys know that I talked about Ford yesterday and Ford oh my goodness Ford took off like a rocket ship yesterday um, really pushing up and following through yesterday or this morning it looks like it's wanting to follow through to the upside this morning we saw good moves in Ford we saw good moves moves in GM. We saw good moves in GE trying to push on up. Some of those old industrial um, uh, companies really starting to perk out. We saw some really good moves in airlines like DAL, uh, Delta Airlines holding up, UAL holding up, SAVE holding up, travel stocks like TRIP showing signs um, of continued bullishness. Um, Expedia, those kind of stocks doing very, very well. We also saw some nice moves in some um, of these longer term trades that I've been talking about here. Um, uh, 3M, if we take a look at 3M and look at this on a weekly chart, we have a beautiful pattern beginning to set up here on 3M. And as you guys know, I have a little bit of a bias on this because I've started a position in this trade. But what I'm um, looking at is some of these big divvy payers as the market gets a little bit nervous about things and stocks that have been beaten down uh, during this crisis. Notice that um, they're starting to perk up, crossing those downtrends, holding a support, and a little bit of bullishness starting to come in here on 3M. So I've started to pick up a position here in that trade. And as you guys know, I've also been mentioning Altria. I am holding Altria and I've been in this trade. Here's that pattern again. There's that downtrend. We pushed up in here, consolidated that move, and then we pushed on through. And I've been holding this trade in Altria looking good. I'm also short the 47 and a half calls on this at this point in the trade because I'm looking at holding these longer term. So I always have those trades hedged. But keep an eye on that. Really good charts um, um, looking in there. I also picked up a short trade yesterday in um, AMD. Picked up a little short trade. This is a daily chart. Notice that we were failing right here at price resistance. Now this morning with this pump up, um, I've already got a nice profit in this trade, but with this pump up, we're gonna see whether or not those techs can start to come back and recover. Keep in mind this AMD trade, this is a failure underneath its 50 day moving average and we're failing at price resistance. I suspect a test of the 200 day moving average could be coming given enough time here in AMD. So pretty decent short and there are a few of those starting to show up even though we're trying to pump, pump, pump this market to the upside. So watch some of those charts. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Thank you so much for watching. And if um, you guys want to support the channel, just make sure you click in those thumbs up buttons and, and subscribe buttons. You guys are truly awesome. Take care. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you bright and early Thursday morning.